Hello, and in this video, I will be showing you how to build a Christmas present and a Christmas tree since Christmas is literally right around the corner, two weeks from when this video was recorded. Um, please like and subscribe this video. My goal for this uh, channel before summer of 2020 would be 1,000 subscribers, so then I can add a link in all my videos something really special that you would probably like and enjoy so it would mean a lot if you just click the subscribe button it's free some people think it's not free i don't know why but yeah and also ring the bell so you get notifications of when i post my videos okay so let's get started with the tree so for the tree you will need a two by two round brick an approximately 10 stud long axle, X-shaped axle, Technic axle. If you want to add a star on your tree, just get one of these wands. You will need four of these helicopter blade pieces, I think it was. You will need 10 of these, one cone for the Base, you will need to stick the axle into the brick, like so. Then, for the bottom section of the tree, what you will need to do is you will need to get one of your things, one of those pieces, you will need three of these for the bottom section, these one by two slopes, and three of these, and three of these. So, what you need to do is need to attach one to the end on each side, just like this. So, you can pause the video here to see what I did. Okay, so in the next step, you need to do it here also. And here. Now the reason why I'm leaving these one stud spaces is to add these. So, you need to add one here. One here, and one here. So you can kind of see if you... I'll, so I'll tell you how this is going to work once you put the thing on. And you need to attach this, this, and this just to make it more smooth and cover up the studs. Now if you want to put ornaments, you'll need these. If you don't want ornaments and you just want it to be a normal tree, don't bother trying to get these. You could use it for snow, but then you wouldn't have the tiles on because you can't really attach tiles. So I'm going to do it with ornaments. So you can set that down and you can grab any transparent color of stud. I'm using red and just attach it to the bottom of that. Make around three of those. So I'm going to use yellow on this one and red again on this one. And then you get your thing again and you place them on the bottom stud of it. Like that. Okay, so how this attaching thing is going to work is as you can see there's an X pin here, and also if you don't want to watch this, you can just skip the part until where we do it, which is around like 10 seconds, so you only have to, yeah, so you get it. So you just slide it in, and it stays snug in there, and you don't, there's no like spinning or anything, it just stays in there. Okay, so that is our first level. 
On our second um, section, we won't be using the one by two slopes anymore, but we will be using them on the last one. So for this level, you will need another one of these again. Three of these, three of one by one bricks, and three one by two plates. So what you are going to essentially do, just getting the pieces ready here, but what are you, you essentially are gonna do is you're gonna place one at the end here, just like we did last time. But instead of the slope pieces like we did over there, over here, we're gonna use the bricks. So we're gonna place one brick here, one brick here, and one brick here. And then you're going to attach your stud, uh, your tiles, not studs. I don't know, they're technically almost the opposite. <laughs> but yeah, and again with your ornaments, this time I'm just gonna use this here, like a white ornament or something like that. I'm gonna use two, one red one and one yellow one. You can also put as many ornaments as you want. You could put two ornaments on each branch. I prefer one. Okay, so once you had that, if you want your tree to be totally like that, you're gonna do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it look more realistic and make the branches at different angles. So here, see, it's gonna be the same. You could just turn it here and it's gonna be different. See? So, we've got, oops. <laughs> just knocked one ornament off there, but. As you see here, we've got our second level. Now for the third level, you're gonna need one more of these. I know, we're getting a lot of these. And you're just gonna put them on like this. But on both studs. Okay. And then you're gonna make more ornaments. So I'm gonna have two red and one yellow. Since those are the only ones I have left at the moment here. There. One red one here. And one red one here. So I technically, I used up all of my white studs because that's three three that's six and I have nine so I only have one more ornament left and I don't really want to have that one ornament because then I will only have one ornament per this section <laughs> so now again like I did before I am going to give the tree another angle so as you can see here the bottom one is this one the middle one is this one and the one we just did is that one so as you can see it's starting to become an actual christmasy tree or christmas tree i said christmasy because it's a christmasy tree okay but um for the last level you're gonna need three of the uh, green one by two sloped bricks like we used in the first one but you're going to add them here this level is kind of interesting because it's like kind of two levels in one but it's still one attachment so you'll know what I'm talking about then you'll need three of these one by one modified plates with the kind of tooth or beak thing in the on the side i would prefer if i got if i had these in the exact same color but i got them in a little darker green so remember i said that it's like kind of building two levels 
because you're gonna be doing that so it's kind of like another level and I think it's really cool now just saying I kind of got this idea from a set so I know there are gonna be some kids who are watching this video they're like hey I have that set he copied it so I'm just saying that I just got the set. So for the people who do not have the set, I don't. It, I, I think it's discontinued. I'm not sure. But for the people that don't have the set or don't have access to the set, I'm just showing them how to build a Christmas tree. Okay. So I'm going to put this. I just kind of got it at the wrong angle there. But I'm gonna do this, not the same angle as the one below it, but the same angle as the first one. So then it doesn't really look like it, it's the same angle. Then remember the cone that I showed you at the very beginning and the wand? You stick the wand in there. And then you stick the cone on top. And the way you stick the cone on top, if you want to skip this, you can skip this. But as most of you know, there's like a X sized hole there. You can't really see as well on camera. You can kind of see one of the things over there. But if you are in, you actually have one of these cones, which most people do, you can see that there's a X thing that would exactly fit that bar. So you just stick it on, and that's your Christmas tree. Now for your present, what you need is a one by two plate. I prefer this one. If you don't have this one, you could use any white plate. I mean tile. You need two one by two tiles and two one by two plates of the same color as the tiles and you'll see why later you need a one by two jumper plate in a color of your choice and a one by two plate in the same color as the jumper. Now if you're gonna have this group of pieces and these pieces in the same color, there's really no point of having those and you could just stick two of, uh, two of these together and then just put one tile here, one tile here and a jumper plate here. Or you could just put a four by four, a uh, two by two jumper plate here and the one by two tile here. So I'm just having all these pieces just for some detail. And then you need a two by three plate like the one that I just showed you. So you start with the two by three plate, you put the one by two plate here, and you put the jumper plate on top. So it kind of forms some, uh, like a X or a cross type of shape. Then you have your one by two plates and you put them next to the jumper forming kind of a smooth top except for the one stud of the jumper then you put your one by two plates here and then you put your one by two tile here and then that's your present now you don't have to do it exactly like me like green and white you could do red and blue purple and green you could do white and red you could do any color as long as they're different because if they're the same you could just attach two two by three plates like i said on top of each other as you can see more clearly now and then just do the same top thing so yeah so what you could do is you could just place your christmas tree here and your present here or something and have like a minifigure here i just also did this just for scale so you can see minifigure normal minifigure next day and yeah so thanks for watching this special edition christmas video and
tell me if you like my new background for this. I think it's pretty cool. So if you like my new background more than my old background, you can leave a like. But if you like the other background more, you don't have to leave a like. So, okay. Thanks for watching this video and bye.